All great. right, so this is the, now a disclaimer for this video, we're gonna do another one on this later because I literally made this blend today. So it's obviously going to evolve. But this is the blend that I said I was going to make. Uh, it's one third Cash Strength 46, and it is one sixth of the following. It is FAE-01, it is the Atlantic Liquors uh, Private Select number four, it is the New York pick that was seven pure and three mocha, and uh, Makers 101. So in theory, I'm expecting a lot of cherry spice. I'm expecting uh, a little bit of the mocha. So I'm expecting, you know, a little bit of a, the sort of decadent notes on the finish, mm -hmm. eventually. Um, I wasn't quite sure what the 101 is gonna do, but I figured send it. Why not? <laughs> and, um, and the pure, you know, the, um, that pure, I wanted, wanted to use up some of that because that wasn't my favorite maker's pick. Right. But add that in with the 46, and I feel like the 46 is going to improve that. Yeah, so let's see what it did. Let's see. Let's see what it did right off the bat, because again, this is, yeah. this is just mixed together this morning. That should be a pretty sweet nose. Very sweet nose. Cherry for sure. Um, I want to say like sawdust almost, like that fresh, clean mm -hmm. oak sawdust. I think that, I think that's coming from the one from the actually I think that's coming from the seven pure from that one. Probably. A um, little bit of like cinnamon, not cinnamon spice, but like cinnamon bark. Mm -hmm. Vanilla bean, not vanilla cream. That yeah, maybe pretty, a little bit of both. It smells, it smells pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, it's it's. There's a lot to pick apart. Which makes sense because there's a lot of parts to yeah. this right now. Cherry spice, a lot of it. Huh. I'm getting something else that's a drier note. I don't get a ton of cherry actually on the taste. It is very dry. It's it's a lot drier than I expected, actually. Um, front end, oak spice. Mm -hmm. um, let me try it again. Definitely oaky. <laughs> Honestly, still get a little bit of a of a bready note to it. A little bit, yeah. Which we've had before in. Maker's products. I again, I think that comes from the pure. Yeah, this this is this isn't as sweet as other no, makers. It's not. That. This is, I think I think that's the fact that it's a lot of forty six cast. Yeah. And there's some one hundred one in there. I think that the one hundred one definitely takes away some of the sweetness because that's the least sweet maker's product that exists. Um, it has a lot of chocolate notes to it and some coffee on the tail end. So like the mocha is definitely showing itself. Mm -hmm. um, the front end is sweet, but it's not like a cherry sweet. I get more of like a, I guess maple brown sugar kind of sweet on the mm -hmm. front end. Cause like it's a dark sweet and it's not super sweet, but it is a little sweet on the front. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting more of that like cocoa on the finish. Oh, Almost yeah. more like a dark chocolate. I would say it's more dark chocolate. Like a 90% I actually, I actually don't eat this. No, not at all. This is actually like... And I think that it's just going to mellow. I think we're going to get more flavors out of it. This is this yeah, is a little this aggressive. Honestly, it's, it, it has a lot of potential to it. It's a little aggressive for sure, but I think that as it opens up, it has a ton of potential. Because mm -hmm. hmm. it's not as sweet as I was expecting. I really didn't expect this to be sweet. I, I, was, I wasn't... Yeah, I wasn't trying to make it... To, I mean... With the amount of 46 cask and the fact that I put 101 in it, I wasn't going for super sweet. That's true. And the fact that the picks I did, the one had only, I mean, you think that there's one sixth of a pick that has anything other than pure 46 or mocha. Yeah. So that explains where a little bit of decadent notes, like the chocolate might come from. Right. But like, you gotta think there's no cuvee, or there's like, practically no cuvee in this. 
Which is definitely one of the sweet There's factors. practically no toasted spice either. Right. Which tends to give you the more brown sugary kind of notes. Right. So like, no, this, this it's it's shaping up like it's going to be exactly what I was going for. That's fair. Because I was trying to go for something that was a little bit more decadent and less of the traditional sweetness. Mm-hmm. And I mean, first impression is that it's headed that direction. I do think it'll sweeten up over time, which is probably what you want. Cause... Oh yeah. Oh, it's not gonna. I mean, you can't make a, a dry a dry note whiskey by adding a bunch of things that right. are, that don't have drier notes to it. Right. But compared to other makers' picks and stuff, I was hoping for it to kind of go that direction. Right. So if you bought a private select and it tasted like this, how would you rank it with ones you've had? Um. Like, I mean, again, this is first impression, so, you know, obviously it's going to adapt from here. I liked it better than the, what was the Atlantic pick that was, or the one that we didn't like the last time we did that was the, That was that New York pick, that seven spice three mocha. I like this better than that. Um, I and, that's, this... and that says something, too, because that was an actual pick that yeah. we weren't necessarily disappointed in either. Yeah, I'd say so. that this would be, like, I guess technically lower middle. Because, like, I can think of, I can't remember which one specifically, but, like, I can specifically say I like this better than a couple of, like, the lower end ones we didn't, weren't as much of a fan of. But it's lacking some of that sweet, like, that desserty sweetness that I like in right. Maker. Like, right, which, I mean, given what I blended, I don't know that that's going to happen. Yeah. Which, I mean, the one that, like, my favorite one, the first Five Money Good Spirits pick, to me, that was the perfect blend of decadent, dark, and sweet. Because, like, right. it had, like, that brown sugar. Right. to it um, and this one is definitely lacking a little bit of that sweetness but it has the decadent dark chocolate notes of that one that I liked because mine was the darkest and I would mm-hmm. say this is darker than the one that I have right which is interesting given what I combined yeah no that's actually very interesting but yeah this but is darker and drier than that one I, I definitely after trying this I have my hopes up for it because the first impression isn't a negative first impression. No. This. I'm very excited to see how this marries over the next, mm-hmm. like, month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to sit on my top shelf and not do anything for a month. Which so. is exactly what it needs to do, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to touch this thing until we do a tasting on it later. Sweet. So I'm my excited. my next impression of it will be the same as... Or it will be at the same time you guys have your next impression of it. I'm very excited to see that. Yeah, it's... I, I, I have my hopes up for this. I'm, I'm glad I decided to... Because I had extra cast 46. So I was like, why not try this to begin with? And I think it's going to pay off. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, like, this Maker's is... Maker's Mark, if you're hearing this, hire me. Let me blend for you. I blend for you. <laughs> Dude, that would be, like, the dream. Dude, right? If I became a fucking blender for Maker's... Came up with their new release, like, 46s... Makers, I have a chemical engineering degree. Hire me. <laughs> or Jim Beam. Jim Beam, if you're listening. Actually, you're, you're both owned by the same company. Somebody Centauri, beams Centauri. Hire me. <laughs> Somebody beam Centauri. Hi. <laughs> you're going to get hired to make fucking Centauri Toki. I mean, I can only improve it. <laughs> Ooh. Well, now they're not hiring you. No. So. <laughs> Whatever I'm not, he I'm, said, he's lying. I'm not, I'm not a Japanese whiskey aficionado, and I never will be. I prefer bourbon, and I prefer Irish. Understandable. 